coming up on Nicole's view. This story, um, it came out a few days ago. I want to say last week. And I read it. I read the headline and I said to myself, just how, how did this happen? How did this happen? You have this man here, this veteran by the name of Ronald Wayne White, um, here in Texas in DeSoto, Texas, uh, in North Texas was found dead in his apartment for approximately three years. Three years is what they estimate. This story sent chills down my spine. How awful to go like that. But let's jump into it. Hey guys, it is Nicole here back on this Monday night. I hope you guys are all doing good out there and welcome back to Nicole's view. So this story, like I said in the beginning, it just, it hurt. It hurt because, you know, just think that could be any one of us. That could be any one of us, especially if you are someone who is single. I mean, these are the things that if you are single you should think about simply because you need to have a plan of action where people who are closest to you whether it's family or friends or maybe people you may work with um leave your information with them for example this guy you know he traveled the world and with his job and his mother, you know, kept in contact with him and, and whatnot, but they didn't know what his current residence was because of his job and moving so much. So they didn't have that information. And it just strikes me as just incredibly sad. And you feel like what could have been done differently? It just was like the perfect storm for something like this to happen. But let this be a reminder, if you are close with anyone, if you don't have family, just let somebody know because nobody deserves to leave like this, to be sitting up, laying in an apartment, in a house, whatever, dead, literally decomposing in an apartment and nobody smelled anything. This story is so bizarre to me. It's freaky. You've heard stories like this, but this is super crazy. This is over the top almost. Like, I can't wrap my head around it, but you can see it happening. Anyway. Okay, so here is the article. I'm reading this from BuzzFeed News. Not a big fan of BuzzFeed because, you know, they're all a part of the, the mainstream media, but I found this article to be pretty lengthy and... Um, it's interesting, uh, written by Olivia Nilland. And the headline says, the body of a Navy veteran was found in his apartment and authorities said he's been dead for three years. A spokesperson for the apartment complex told BuzzFeed News a very unusual set of events allowed the man's apartment to sit undisturbed for so long. Wow. The body of a missing Navy veteran was found inside an apartment where he is believed to have died three years ago, authorities said. The remains of Ronald Wayne White were found on November 10th in the kitchen of his apartment in the DeSoto Town Center Complex in DeSoto, Texas, which is about 25 minutes outside of Dallas, the DeSoto Police Department told BuzzFeed News. 
while investigating units in the building that didn't appear to be using any water, maintenance workers breached the door of White's third floor unit and discovered his remains, uh, DeSoto Police Detective Pete Schultz told BuzzFeed News. White had only just moved into the apartment and lived there for a matter of three, or excuse me, not three, but a matter of weeks before his death, which police estimated occurred at the end of October or the beginning of November of 2016. The cold weather at that time likely contributed to no one in the building noticing anything was wrong, Schultz said. When we walked in, all of the windows were closed, locked, sealed tight. You couldn't even smell anything in the hallway. That is just that blows my mind because usually something like that, a decomposing body, you think you'd be able to smell after a few days, but for three whole years, I just still find that unbelievable. Anyway, but um, he didn't establish any relationships with any neighbors, so it was a perfect combination of circumstances that allowed this to happen. Schultz said the apartment complex was never listed as an address for White, who had sold a home in the Dallas area prior to his death, and that his family didn't even know he was living there. Ah, oh, this is what I'm saying. We gotta keep in contact uh, let folks know our whereabouts, even if we do travel like that. And therefore, never reported him missing to the DeSoto Police Department. He was also retired, Schultz said, and was never reported missing by an employer. Okay, so he was retired. Uh, White's mother, Doris Stevens, told NBC News she last heard from her son around November of 2016. Stevens said that her son, then 51, was a defense contractor who traveled frequently for his job and he had bought a house in the Philippines and planned to move there after voting in the 2016 presidential election. Stevens said she typically spoke with her son once or twice a month and as months passed without word from him, she grew concerned. Yeah, I mean just not to suddenly hear from your child for so long that would concern any parent um when she had still when she had still not heard from white by april of 2017 stevens told nbc news she contacted the glen heights and dallas police departments based on his last known address to file a missing person report they asked how old my son was and i told them and they said you can't make a missing person report uh, for a grown-up, Stevens told NBC News. And you know, I think they need to stop doing that. I, I really think they need to stop doing that, especially when someone who is usually known to be in contact with family, friends, whoever, and for them just to say, well, he was an adult and you haven't heard anything for months and months and months and months and months and months, and months you know, unless you have some strained a strange relationship and from what they're saying the mom is saying it wasn't like that there should still be a welfare check i'm sorry i'm sorry especially especially with that gap of time this is awful um let's see steven spent the next three years searching for her son telling the outlet that she considered hiring a private investigator but was unable to afford one. Wow, it's unfortunate. I, I wish maybe she could have reached out to, you know, um, people on social media. Someone could have helped her try to reach out and get, you know, there's GoFundMes and everything else. I'm sure this story would have gotten some attention, but, you know, she's older. She's probably not even on social media. But, Wow. Um, let's see. White's mother told NBC News that she now partly blames the DeSoto Town Center apartment complex for allowing her son's whereabouts to remain unknown for three years. David Margulis, a spokesperson for the DeSoto Town Center apartment, said a very 
unusual set of events allowed White's apartment to sit undisturbed for so long. He traveled extensively. Uh, his rent was paid automatically, so he, I guess his bills were just automatically coming out. Uh, nobody inquired about him, no family member, friend, or employer. There was no stack up of mail, Margulis, uh, Margulis said. None, none of the things that would have triggered a reason to go to his apartment. I just still find that just, mm, I can't get my mind around the fact that this is a dead, decomposing human body sitting in this apartment. Like, these must be some really well-built apartments because <laughs> let me tell you something i've lived in plenty of apartments and uh you can pretty much in all of them at least hear folks smell things uh, notice when something is amiss uh, yeah okay it goes on to say when white's body was discovered his family was only able to be reached via the emergency contact information listed on his apartment lease margulies said in the three years since he was last seen margulies said none of the apartments residents had any reason to suspect something was wrong oh, wow not even the people around him next door above oh my god Several years ago, a resident below White's unit had reported a leak coming from the ceiling in the area in which Detective Schultz said White's remains were discovered. Oh my God. Upon investigating, however, apartment staff found that the leak had stopped. And when no one answered the door of White's apartment, they didn't pursue the matter further, Schultz said. I just find that mind blowing. Any other time they they walk up right in, in your apartment when they got to come in there to do some work or something like that. Uh, really? Like there was no type of check. Nobody said, you know what, let me just go in this apartment. Let me just see if there's something. Nothing. Nothing. I, mm, mm, this story. Uh, White's truck, a gray Ford F-150, was also found in the public parking area of the apartment complex. Schultz confirmed to BuzzFeed News. Even with that, that, mm, because you know, in a lot of apartment complexes, if your car, if an old beat down car is just sitting there after a while, they'll start inquiring about it, reaching out, something, nothing. Mm. Let's see. Schultz said he understands why people may be quick to blame the apartment complex, but said DeSoto Town Center explained to authorities that its policy is to respect the privacy of its residents. Wow, y'all. A lot of respect, I tell you. Okay. If apartment personnel had entered White's unit, I don't think it would have changed the outcome, Schultz said just provided some closure for the family sooner. The three-story DeSoto Town Center complex houses 161 units, according to apartments.com. The apartment complex is cooperating with police in the original investigation, Margulies said. White's cause of death is pending an autopsy report from the medical examiner's office, which did not immediately return calls from BuzzFeed News Saturday. Schultz, however, confirmed to BuzzFeed News that White's death occurred about three years ago. Schultz said uh, that White was a diabetic and there is zero indication of foul play. Uh, th there were nice things in the apartment. Nothing seemed to be moved. There was no sign of forced entry, Schultz said. It was probably a medical type situation that caused his death. Still, White's mother says she wants more answers in her son's death. When the medical examiner told me three years, my knees gave away. Three years. And that's what I can't get past in my brain. I can't get past three years, Stevens told WFAA. My biggest question is, how in the world could my son have been dead in that apartment 
and nobody knows anything. Oh, oh, I feel so bad for the mom. I, I can't imagine. I, I can't imagine. Oh boy. Yeah, that I, you know, the I, there's a, enough blame to go around everywhere in a story like this, from the police department to the apartment complex being. I mean, three years, usually, even if they they said he was doing like a month to month, they have to do touch-ups on apartments. They have to do things like that, you would think. They have new, it's always something new. Like in our town home, there's always something they're doing. They they want you to sit out the um, the thing for the fire. They want you, the fire hose thing, you guys know what I'm talking about. They, they got to do this. They're going to come in, you know, the cable company has to come and do something to the apartment. They're remodeling this and that. None of that? So for three years, they didn't have to do none of that. Nothing. I, something just, it's just not right with this. This man was failed on every level. Like I said, I just wish he would have, um, knowing the position he was in, I just wish he would have been able to leave all his information with his mother, um, family members, friends, somebody, just so they know, especially since he is a diabetic. Um, so people will know. But still and yet, this man was failed on so many levels. Someone who served this country, a veteran from the Navy, right here in Texas. I tell you folks, some of the most bizarre, craziest, craziest things have happened since I moved back home to Texas since last year. These stories have just blown my mind. The things that are going on here. I don't know. I just, mm, this story hurts. I hurt for the mother. <clears throat> I have my one and only son, my only child, I, as I always say. And, you know, I keep living. He keeps growing and getting older. I just can't imagine, like, my son has a, a job or whatever he does, and he has to travel like that, and you don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. Just to know that your child was didn't have anybody there to help him. Literally died in his kitchen. Oh, this story is just awful, awful. But anyway, um, I'm going to leave you guys with this news clip from WFAA as well. And there is a uh, fellow veteran, a black woman out of Houston, who wants to make sure that fellow veterans can show up for this man's burial and he has the proper going home service. So all I can say is rest in peace, Mr. White. I am very sorry that this is how you had to be found but um i'm glad they found him and some some type of peace hopefully can be brought to his mother and family and friends anyway guys let me know what you think about this story like comment share and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get all notifications of all my videos uh like share comment and notify and i will see you all in the next video. But well, this story made national headlines. A Navy veteran found dead in his apartment outside Dallas, but isn't found until three years later. Well, tonight, a Houston veteran wants to make sure Ronald Wayne White gets a proper burial. Janelle Bluta joins us with the story tonight. Janelle? Well, and Lissandra Jones says it's just something veterans do. They never leave a fallen soldier behind. She says, it's heartbreaking to hear how his life ended, but mm -mm. that won't be the way he's remembered. Years. I just felt like because he died alone, we're not going to let him be buried alone. She never knew his name until she saw his story, and now she'll never forget it. I think it's probably going to haunt me for the rest of my life, knowing that a, a, um, a veteran passed away and no one even found his body for three years. Marine Corps veteran LaShondra Jones says it shook her to the core, learning the fate of Navy veteran Ronald Wayne White. It is it's sadness to see that a veteran, a decorated veteran, had to go out like this. 
White's body was found in his Dallas apartment last week, lying on the kitchen floor. The medical examiner saying he'd been there for three years. How in the world could my son have been dead three years in that apartment and nobody knowed anything? But as questions linger, the solidarity begins to swell. Living in Houston, Joan says the distance means nothing. She's giving White the funeral he deserves. This is a veteran and we uh, consider him a brother. Spending her entire day on the phone or on Facebook, reaching out to fellow veterans. I have called uh, VFWs, I've called American Legions. I've actually called chapters here for them to reach out as well. She's learned White's body will be moved to Shreveport. She'll do what she can to attend and to everyone else she's asking they do too. Well we want the people in Shreveport to just show up. This man showed up whether he went to war or whether he did not go to war. He actually raised his right hand to defend the Constitution. She says for Ronald Wayne White it's a funeral he's earned. A farewell he deserves. We're still waiting on final word for when White's funeral will be held. We will keep you posted on when that will be. Lena Mia. It's a really big gesture of Isn't her it? to do so and other veterans as well. Janelle Baluda in the newsroom. Thank you.